This is your daily stretch routine that you can do every single day. And I designed it so that it hits every single joint in your body so that you can get a full body stretch and feel your absolute best. I'm Action Jacqueline. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. And if you've been looking for the perfect non-toxic yoga mat, I highly recommend the one that I use from Brentwood Home because I love the way the design looks in my house and I love that it's completely organic. So I've left a discount code and link for you in the description box below. And let's get into our stretching. We're gonna start standing here. Feet are just comfortable about shoulder width apart. Reach those arms up overhead, clasp the hands. And I want you to first stretch as high as you can right here. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Take a big inhale in. Exhale. Inhale, see if you can get taller through the sides of the waist. Lifting your shoulders, lifting your ribs off of your hips. Exhale. Good, now inhale, lift up higher. Exhale, we're gonna take a nice little side bend, but still think about lifting off of those hips. Getting really long, back to the center. Lift up higher, and then over to the side. This isn't about collapsing, right? This is about lengthening, literally from your heel to your fingertips. Inhale, exhale. Taking this time to connect with your body. Whew. Let's finish it out one more time on the other side. And up, good. Clasp those hands behind you now. And you're gonna lift the chest up and we're gonna take a little twist, look up. Little twist, look the other way. Twist, look up. Twist, look the other way. Twist. Good. Twist, it's really sunny, so I have to close my eyes. Nice, now take those legs out a little bit wider and then we're gonna let ourselves fall all the way forward. Let the hands fall over the head. Let the scapula even fall down towards the floor. Let them slide down off of the ribs. Feeling the shoulders getting closer to your ears. You can bend and straighten the legs. Allowing the spine to traction open and then slowly roll yourself all the way up good all right now let's take those arms nice and wide right here you're gonna step the leg back twist reach towards one side and open go to the other side like you had a big beach ball right here and you're taking the ball and you're turning it over to the back nice like you're passing it off to somebody behind you throwing it into the water behind me good getting that nice spinal twist but I want you to actually feel that ball in your hands right here. Feel it and twist. Good, nice big open. Really press the hands together, feel that energy and then expand wide. Okay, come down to the mat. You're gonna come onto a knee and your right foot's in front, so you're in a nice box here. Now tuck the pelvis under, squeeze the glute right here, and then reach the arm up towards the sky and release. So really think about squeezing that glute. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And just lift up the heart just a little bit so you have a nice little tiny back bend there. So we're not going down like this, right? I'm purposely staying upright to really open up through the front of the hip, the whole front of the body, and really reach and stretch. Think about squeezing that glute under there to really get deep into those hip flexors. Nice. Now I'm going to face you just so you can see. We're going to step the foot out to a 45 degree angle and we're going to take a nice little stretch away from it as the hips lower and then I'm going to go the other way. Reach. Good. So I'm pushing down into the hips. Reach. This one feels really, really good.
Nice. Now I'm going to lean forward into a low lunge. And you can either stay here, stay right here, pull up that core, lengthen through the chest, or if you want to add on, you can add on a thigh stretch. Okay, so this is definitely more challenging. Make sure that you're still upright through the chest. And I'm lifting up, right? I'm not sinking down. This is a more active stretch where I'm really pressing down into my foot, lifting up through my chest. I'm even lifting up through my core right here. Good. And breathe. So whether you're doing this in the morning to wake up or before a workout, this is really the best way to start anything, right? With your body, breathing with the beautiful ocean behind me. Feeling so good. Okay, let's go ahead and tuck this foot under and we're gonna extend the front leg in front of us. Bring this foot flesh into your thigh lift on up and let's take a nice runner's lunge right here so we're gonna get a nice deep stretch in the low back so go as far as you can and what I like to do is just inch myself down with every exhale right so every exhale I imagine I unlock a new level right there inhale and exhale good now on the other side so we're gonna come into that box lunge again right here pull up through the core squeeze the glute and then reach the arm up towards the sky little back bend and release inhale as you reach up tuck the tailbone under squeeze the glute expand through the arms you now for our 45 degrees here so that leg is at a 45 we're gonna push into it let the hips drop as you reach away from it and then reach towards it unlocking our hips here also strengthening our core while we also release tension in the low back and shoulders Okay, step it forward and place the hands on the inside of the front foot right here. You can stay here or add the thigh stretch with me. Pressing through the right hand to lift the chest up higher. Good.
release down. Bring that foot in. Extend the front leg. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Inhale and exhale. Stretch it forward right here. Remember, every exhale you can unlock a new level right here. those heels into the floor roll it all the way forward and it can be a down dog or up dog however you like it can be a lazy one it could be an active one you get to choose here just keep rolling through inhaling and exhaling Back to downward dog and then slowly walk your hands back towards your feet nice and slow and then grab onto opposite elbows right here and allow the spine to just traction open nice and you can sway side to side feel like you're just swaying in the wind peaceful and happy. Have a little slight bend in the knees. See if there's any little places, little spots that are still tense that you can just release right here. And then let go of the arms and slowly, one and a vertebrae at a time, roll on up, really slow. Keep the belly in, stack the vertebrae one on top of the other, segmenting into each vertebrae. And then take a nice big inhale in, exhale. Great work, that felt amazing. I'm Action Jacqueline, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.